Meet the Meter Block, the wireless smart cooking thermometer system that has completely changed the way I cook. Want to find out how? Let's get cooking. Welcome back to the channel where we are giving you tech tips, tricks and reviews to help with your hybrid lifestyles both at home and on the go. If that sounds like you, consider subscribing. This is a really exciting review for me to do because I've been playing around with this for the last couple of weeks and spoiler alert, I think it's amazing. This review is not sponsored by Mita in any way. I bought this with my own money and I bought it with a little bit of scepticism, wondering if it could be really as good as the reviews say it is. I feel like I cannot cook a piece of meat wrong when using these. I am someone who loves entertaining. I like cooking for guests. I love doing a barbecue, especially when the weather's nice outside, which you know, isn't that often in the UK, but when I can do it, I love doing it. One thing I really don't like doing when I'm hosting though, is having to constantly check on my food, make sure I'm not burning it to a crisp, rather than actually spending time with my guests and enjoying myself. And that is where these things come in. The meter block is a wireless smart meat thermometer system, which as you can see here, contains four separate metal meat probes, along with a display area and some numbered tags that you can attach to the probes so you can track your different joints of meat that you're cooking. It's such a cool design and I really love seeing wood used so heavily in a tech product which you don't normally see. It's a great juxtaposition between earthy and futuristic and this would be at home in any kitchen. This undoubtedly feels like a premium product. You can tell you're holding something that's been well made. It's had a lot of attention to detail. The wood is a really nice finish. There's actually two available colors for the meter block. This is the lighter colored one, but there is also a darker wood available. The lighter one here is 299 pounds and the darker one is slightly more at 319. There's no functional difference between the two. Flipping it over here, you can see on the back, we have a battery compartment, which just detaches magnetically. And it actually runs off AA battery which is quite unusual to see nowadays. It's not rechargeable and that's maybe something to consider, but it will house rechargeable AA batteries if you want to use those. The panel just slides back on magnetically and it's got a stand on it as well. So you can stand this up in your kitchen or by the barbecue and it's gonna look really nice there. The Block is one of three products in Meter's lineup. Also available are the original Meter, which costs 99 pounds and it's a single probe and their shortest range option. Then the next model up is the Meter Plus for 119 pounds. Again, that's just a single probe, but you get five times the range that you get on the original Meter. And then there's the Block, which contains all four probes and maximizes the range by using both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's also the only model that can actually work standalone with a built-in screen. This wireless system really takes all of the hassle out of cooking on the barbecue or in the oven. I'm not normally one to get excited about cooking gadgets, but this I am really excited about. And so today's question for the comments is, are there any cooking gadgets that you simply cannot do without? Leave a comment below and let me know. Having the screen directly on the block is a really great feature as well because that means you don't have to constantly be checking your phone. You simply turn the device on. You have the option here to either use Wi-Fi or use it standalone. What the use Wi-Fi option here means is that if you have two devices with the Meter app on, for example, a smartphone and a tablet, you can set up a cook leave one of those devices at home and leave the house with the other device. So you can leave the tablet at home, take your phone out on the go with you and you can actually track your cook from wherever you are. That means if you enjoy cooking things low and slow and perhaps using a smoker, these are ideal for that because you can set it, leave the house and monitor your cook from wherever you are. Once you select an option, it's then gonna look for your four probes. And as you start your cook, you can track them directly from the screen. When the block is off and the probes are in there, they're constantly charging up, so they're ready to use whenever you take them out. You actually get 24 to 48 hours charge from each of these probes when it's fully charged, which means you're gonna be covered for any of those longer cooks that you wanna do. The wireless range on the meter block and probes is also absolutely brilliant. The block itself actually works as a wireless repeater. So all you need to do is leave it close to your probes while they're cooking and then it's going to boost the range of those probes up to 50 meters, which means you can take your phone up to 50 meters away from where you're cooking and still be able to monitor it. There's not many houses where you're going to get 50 meters away from the cooking site. And if you are, then lucky you. But how does this system actually work its magic when you're cooking? Well, that's down to the two separate sensors that you have in each of these probes. The first sensor is an ambient temperature sensor that lives in this part here that stays outside of the food you're cooking. And then the second sensor is this area here, which is the meat sensor itself. So what that means is that each probe knows exactly what the temperature of your oven or grill is and exactly what the internal temperature of the meat is. That allows each sensor to know exactly how cooked the meat is inside along with how long left exactly on the cook according to the temperature of the environment it's in. 
You do have to be slightly careful with the sensors on these. The ambient temperature sensor here is rated for up to a maximum of 275 degrees C and the internal sensor here is rated for up to a maximum of 100 degrees C. So you need to make sure you're not exceeding those temperatures. You shouldn't be exceeding 100 degrees C internal temperature for your meat because if you have you've absolutely destroyed it. But the ambient sensor at 275 degrees C is not going to fare very well on direct heat. That means if you want to sear your meat in the pan you're probably better off searing the meat first and then inserting the probe before putting it into the oven or grill or going the other way around and reverse searing the meat. So cooking it in the oven with the probe in first, then removing the probe and searing on all sides afterwards. It's just something to remember that these are designed for ambient cooking rather than cooking on direct hot surfaces as you may damage the sensors if they get too hot. It comes with the accompanying meter app which works absolutely brilliantly. The highlight of the app for me has to be the guided cook system which will let you set up a specific cook for each probe. You can choose whichever meat you like and choose exactly how you want it cooked. Then just insert the probe into the thickest part of the meat, start cooking and you can track it all from your phone or on the meter block. You can track it straight from the block itself via the screen and you're going to know exactly how long is left on your meat to have it cooked to perfection. You're going to get alerts as the cook goes through. You're going to be told when you need to take it off for heat and it even factors in resting time. All that means when you come to carve that piece of meat at the end it is going to be absolutely perfect every time and I can vouch for this because I've now done multiple cooks on here and every single time it's got it exactly how I liked. My wife and I had guests over for a barbecue last week and we attempted something we'd never normally do purely because we knew we had this and how reliable it was. We decided to cook steak for everybody there but not only that we cooked different cuts of steak and we cooked them to order and we were able to do that because we could set up a different cook on each probe and track each piece of meat individually according to how the different people wanted it cooked. So we had some cooking away medium, some medium rare, some medium well and everyone got the food they wanted and we had no hassle. I could just track the whole thing from my phone, be alerted when to take the meat off the heat and it was perfect. There's some other really nice features in the Meter app as well, aside from the guided cooks. There's a tab that gives you recipes, which are basically two minute videos that incorporate use of the meter within them. You can filter them according to the type of meat you wanna cook and get some great inspiration. Finally, the settings in the app are really useful and shouldn't be skipped over. You can do simple things like changing the temperature scale that you want to read at, but what I think is even more useful is you have a lot of customizability over the alerts that you get from your phone while you're cooking. You can customize the sounds of the alerts for the different stages of your cook. So without even looking at your phone, you know exactly what's happened when a certain alert plays. And you can even even bypass your phone's silent mode if you want to for crucial alerts such as removing the meat from the heat. So when that happens, even if your phone is set to silent, it's going to make a noise at you so you cannot miss the moment to take the meat off. It's seriously really difficult to mess up a cook when you're using these. The wireless nature of these probes makes them incredibly flexible, more so than competing wired alternatives. If you're cooking on a rotisserie, a wired thermometer is an absolute recipe for disaster. I don't need to explain to you why, but using a wireless system, you can have that rotating all day. If you want, there's gonna be no issues. Furthermore, if you're monitoring a really long cook and you're out of the house, using the block to send a signal to the app so you can track it on your phone from wherever you are, you do not need to worry about battery life on the block because underneath the stand there is a micro USB so you can bypass the battery and just purely power it via micro USB instead for a complete peace of mind. When all's said and done, you finish your nice meal and you're full up, you can track any of your past cooks via the app so you can see how the ambient temperature of the cooking environment changed over time and what that did to the meat, what temperature the meat reached at the point it came off the heat and at the end of resting. That's really useful for when you're doing something like cooking on charcoal where it's hard to regulate the temperature. So you can learn some lessons for next time to maybe speed up the cook or just opt optimize it even further. It won't be a surprise to you then to learn that my verdict on the meter block is that I would find it very difficult to cook meat or fish now without using these probes. It simply doesn't seem to steer you wrong. You get perfectly cooked meat or fish every single time. And aside from chef's pride, I don't really see a reason why you wouldn't use all the tools available to you to get things cooked well with minimal fuss. The meter block is a huge win for me and an essential part of my kitchen now. If you are thinking about trying these out and maybe going for the cheaper one, I would actually recommend, if you can stretch to it, getting this one because once you get one, you're only gonna want more. And that means in 
the long run this is going to work out cheaper and there we go thank you so much for watching everyone if you like the video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tech related tips to help you in your hybrid lifestyles both at home and on the go i'm off to go and eat that juicy steak see you on the next one